NASA recently discovered an asteroid that may hit Earth on, of all days, Valentine's Day in 2046. It has been named 2023 DW, and even though it was just discovered a few weeks ago, it is at the top of the list of asteroids that poses the greatest threat to Earth. The asteroid is about 50 meters wide, and current estimates range that it has a 1 in 400 chance to a 1 in 607 chance of striking Earth. But you know, since us humans, we'd love to freak ourselves out, there was a chart that was made showing a line where the asteroid could potentially hit. And one of those spots is, of course, Los Angeles, which, you know, means that there will probably be a disaster movie made about this starring Dwayne Johnson. Now, if the asteroid were to hit, it wouldn't destroy the whole Earth or anything, but it would completely destroy the area or city that it does hit. Plus, with it being around 50 meters, there is a good chance that it breaks apart and explodes in the atmosphere before it ever hits the ground. More calculations still need to be done to get a more accurate prediction on if it will or will not hit Earth, but the chances of that happening are still really low. Hello my friends, this is Lionel Anderson with you guys with a brand new YouTube BitChute video. Well, as you could see at the beginning of this video and the title of this video, we're talking about that asteroid 2023 DW that NASA is saying has a small possibility of hitting Earth on Valentine's Day 2046. Now my friends, this uh, raises a bit of alarm to my radar because uh, I just did a video a couple weeks ago, if you look at my channel, I'll also leave a link down below, on how there's a big possibility that this Nibiru, uh, planet Nibiru, may arrive in the year 2046 and bring about this big uh, end time scenario, you could say, for humanity and redo things, you know, set us back to redo the Matrix simulation. And I just made a video about this uh, a couple weeks ago, so I'll leave the link down in the description about how 2046 is a very good chance this is going to return. And now uh, they're coming out saying, oh, an asteroid might come on Valentine's Day. And uh, my friends, I think this is a way of predictive programming and just putting it into people's subconscious mind that something's going to happen 2046. So I got a lot of interesting stuff to show you in today's video. So before I do, I'm just going to encourage everybody to hit that subscribe button. As I say, subscribe to survive. I cover it from Nibiru, the end time stuff, extraterrestrials, reptilians, world events, how it all ties in together. So please subscribe. And also, please hit that like button. It helps old Lionel out so much. Helps get this video seen by more people. And just wanted to let you guys know, I'm planning on doing another Ask Lionel Anything YouTube video. So ask me anything down in the comments below. And if I uh, like your question, I will answer it in an upcoming video. Uh, so maybe in the next week or so. So everybody leave their questions down below and we'll see if I could get around to answering those. Uh, let's just get right to it, my friends. So yeah, I just want to make it clear. Um, I don't like dates. I don't really do dates. Like so many people have said, oh, Nibiru's coming on this day and they give an exact day. Oh, May 16th or something like that. And then it never, it doesn't come. And then everybody starts laughing. Oh, you Nibiru people are crazy. You said it was coming last year, blah, blah, blah. So I do not do dates. So I just want to make it clear. I'm not saying that Nibiru is coming on a specific day in 2046. But I am going to point you towards some research that I've done that brings up uh, some interesting things about 2045, 2046, and how it's possible something could be coming. And it's interesting about this talk about 2023 DW asteroid hitting on Valentine's Day. Because, you know, Valentine's Day is, it's not a coincidence they chose that. That's a very occultic day. So we're going to get into all that, my friends. So, first off, 2045... 2046, some very interesting things. Uh, in some of my research, when you type in 2046 onto uh, Google, all you type in is, will we be alive in 2046? This is what you get.
That's right, my friends. So they're saying the world is going to be uninhabitable. That's right. They're saying it's, it's just, just not going. Humans are pretty much not going to be able to survive on planet Earth. And the only way we will be able to survive is in artificial bodies, transhumanism. That's right. There's a big push by some Russian billionaire, some Dmitry guy. Uh, he has this 2045 initiative. You could look it up for yourselves. Uh, but uh, his plan is to uh, have this transhumanism thing to import our consciousness into these robotic bodies. That's right, my friends. Uh, so 2045 is a big year for the elites. Even that Ray Kurzweil of Google guy who's predicted so many things, who's part of the elite's agenda, is talking about 2045 and singularity. Okay, so as we can see, these elites, uh, 2045 is a big year for them. They want to be able to transfer their consciousness into these cyborgs, holographic cyborgs or whatever. And uh, they're pretty much trying to tell us that humans are not going to be here by then. And it's just going to be these immortal robots. Who they're good. That, Like, that's their plan, okay? So that tells me something massive is going to happen around the area 2045 maybe 2046 maybe they want everybody in the robots because they know something big is going to happen 2046 i don't know and then there's that uh youtube guy uh, archaics who's got very good videos and he talks about all these things that keep redoing the system he talks about this phoenix event and then he talks about the planet x nemesis nibiru object and he's got it all figured out apparently he says that uh, the phoenix comes every 138 years. I did a video on this last week. Like I said, the link will be at the end of this video. But uh, then he says the Nibiru object comes every 746 years or something like that. And he's got it all figured out from reading these ancient texts and all this. And according to him, he, see, he does the dates. I don't do the dates. But he worked it out that the, astro or that the Nibiru is going to come in 2046 on like May 16th or something like that. And like I said, I don't do the dates, my friends. But that's what his research showed him because he looks at these history books and stuff that he's read and everything and he looks at all these other cataclysms that's happened and he, it follows a cycle, he says. So he's pointing towards 2046 as well. We got all the elites talking about 2046. Google is saying that... Uh, by 2046, humans aren't going to be able to live on the Earth. So a lot of big things pointing towards 2046. And now let's get to this Valentine's Day business, my friends. I'll teach you a little occult lesson. As you guys do know, I have a Patreon and I teach the occult class there. And I go over information like this all the time. So I'll give you guys a little sneak peek. And if you enjoy it and you want more occult information, the link to the occult class is down below on Patreon. I'd love to have you there. But yes, Valentine's Day, my friends. Uh, that's a very occultic day. So is it just a coincidence that they're saying, oh, this asteroid's going to come on Valentine's Day? You say it could take out Los Angeles or something like that. Well, my friends, Valentine's Day is a day of uh, actually worshipping and celebrating the pagan god known as Pan. Take a look. Does he look familiar to you, my friends? Pan, the Greek goddess Pan, uh, who is a fertility god, okay, known for S-E-X-U-A-L, perversion, big time, a lot of greasy things going on there, human sacrifice, doesn't he look just like the devil? Yeah, that's right. Now, obviously, we don't know what the real devil looks like, but we know what uh, the image um mainstream Hollywood and, and, and religion and all that has given us of the devil. You got the horns, you got the hooved 
goat feet. Okay, he was a goat, pretty much. He was a, a, a goat god, Pan, okay? Uh, he had relations with goats. He was half human, half goat. Uh, Baphomet, right? The Baphomet. And uh, my friends, uh, what it comes down to is he was a very uh, disgusting uh, a god, as I said. Uh, people would do human sacrifice sacrifices to him, okay? Uh, even the Bible, which, you know, I ain't a Christian, but uh, I do study the Bible quite a bit anyways because it has a lot of information in there. And uh, it talked about Pan. Okay, take a look. So there you go. Didn't mention him specifically, but it talked about uh, about uh, these demon worshiping goat gods and whatnot. So I don't think it's a coincidence that they chose. Oh, this asteroid's coming on Valentine's Day. Like to be honest, my friends, we live in a matrix simulation. So. Asteroids is not a threat because we're not in base reality right now. So all this talk that NASA, which means to deceive in Hebrew, I believe, or something like that. Uh, all this talk of asteroids, whenever you hear stuff, oh, asteroids come, this and that. Uh, it's not real. Okay, I don't think the asteroid threat is real. If an asteroid comes, it's something that they programmed into the simulation to cause destruction. Okay, so all this talk, oh, this uh, apophysis is coming in 2039, blah, 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 or 2029, this and that, uh, with which apophysis is, uh, is the god of destruction as well, right? I believe it's all to put us in fear, and it's all to program us, and to get us ready for the coming destruction that is Nibiru, which remember, it's not a physical thing. It's a interdimensional planetary object. And it's where these dirty, slimy lizards who created this simulation for us, it's where they come from. They're coming back to do this reptilian harvest, to harvest humanity, my friends. That's what they're doing. And, uh, and I believe that uh, somewhere around the time, 2045, 2046, and I'm not saying it's going to happen on this day or that day, but based on my research, based on my gut feeling, my intuition, my contact, I believe that we're going to see something massive happen. Most likely the return of this Nibiru higher dimensional, fourth dimensional planetary object. Return of the reptilian Anunnaki to do the harvest. And then they're redoing the Matrix, and then uh, they're going to just start it all over again, transfer people to a new Matrix, maybe. But, of course, it's not all doom and gloom, okay? That's, uh, I never want to leave you guys with the doom and gloom message. Of course, there is an Ascension event going on, and uh, it's very hopeful for the people who are putting in the work and who are healing themselves and raising their vibration, uh, there's a hope for us that we will go to the new 5D Earth and beyond, my friends. Uh, you raise your vibrational frequency, you will attract the world you want to be in. And you have to raise your vibrational frequency higher than that of this 3D matrix that runs off the fear and low-level vibrations. And if you could raise your vibration outside of that, uh, this matrix, and open your pineal gland, your third eye, which is the doorway, or the, the portal to other dimensions, uh, there is a possibility and a hope that you will be able to uh, ascend right out of this matrix. And there's a lot of stuff going on right now with the sun, the solar flare activity, beaming all this high vibrational earth. There, there, there is this timeline split, two different timelines you could go down. So you could stay on the timeline, the Nibiru timeline, which I don't recommend you do. Or you could better yourself, heal yourself, release all the fear and the trauma, 
and move into the love vibration, open your third eye and ascend to the 5D New Earth timeline. Okay, so don't get too discouraged thinking there's no hope. There is hope, but you got to put in the work and change yourself. And I could help you in that process. Uh, I got a great class on Patreon, the Ascend to 5D class. Where I'm teaching you how to do that. We just released some great videos. Uh, I'm te I just did a video on how you could unblock and heal your root chakra. And then I did one on how you could unblock and heal your heart chakra. Because to ascend to 5D, you need to unblock and heal and open the heart chakra. You got to be in the love vibration. So I did a great video on that last week. And now today, I'm releasing how you could unblock, heal, and open your third eye chakra. Because like I mentioned before, it is vital to have the open third eye. But you should only do it when you're ready because once it's open, your life is never the same. But I'll explain that all in the Patreon class. But it is vital because your pineal gland is the doorway, the portal to other dimensions and like i said that's your way out of here your way out of here is opening the heart chakra and opening the third eye the crown and all that and then boom you get right out of here it's the technology my friends that we are as spiritual beings spiritual technology you could call it so if you want to learn more about the send to 5d class and uh, i already got tons of videos there we've done like six or seven classes i'm going to keep keep pumping them out and other great benefits at patreon you could ask me anything down there we could talk in the inbox whatever the link is down below i hope to see you guys there and uh if not that's all good too uh make sure you're subscribed here because i'm going to be pumping out videos here on youtube as well and just leave a like and it means the world to me and that's it for today's video hope you guys